Well, first of all, it's amazing to think, I believe that music starts when we are even being conceived, it starts in our lives and runs in our veins. So to imagine that music is part of their lives since they've been conceived like yourselves too, and they've created already so many great songs. I can't wait to hear the songs that will come from the blood that run in your veins. You know, there's so much uh, still to uh, be written and talked about, and I think these days more important than ever. You know, um, so congratulations. I, I just love everything that they do, so I'm honored to be here. My story, you know, uh, I must say, I'm more of a rural kind of guy, not because I'm from Brazil, there are many big cities over there, but I grew up in a very small place, so maybe when they were listening to Beatles, I was still climbing trees. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but I, my mother has uh, 14 brothers and sisters, and five of them are musicians. So since a very young age, I had music in my life. Um, always a self-taught musician uh, and, and kept learning, learning, you know, different instruments. Uh, and I must say, maybe again, because of my uh, always kind of looking for the nature side of things, um, very early on, I gravitated towards what, you know, uh, songbirds can give me, uh, what the rhythm of a little drop of a faucet, you know, can generate. Uh, so that's because we're talking about also the creativity, right? and I find that uh, to me uh, there are so many things that trigger the way to organize sounds in our lives. Songs, it's one of them, but you can do so many more things, you know. Um, so uh, for me, uh, I started, you know, playing with some Brazilian artists, and and at some point. I decided that I want to learn more. So I got, I had very few, very little money. So my father sold his car. I sold my only guitar and I got on a Lloyd's cargo boat and came to America for 17 days in the Caribbean Ocean. And, and it was, was amazing because I learned about constellation, but I also learned that when a hurricane tail comes, you know, you're going to be tied up to a bed like for two days. You know? <laughs> And, um, and I came and I saw so many, so many things that your country, now my country too, has to offer. And to me, one of the, the ones that is the most important, I find it, it's uh, inspiration and support for those who think and feel that they have something to give. And I tell you, in my business, you know, with film, and, and to a certain degree, bringing uh, songs into movies, um, the people that are responsible for hiring me, you know, they're always open to whoever can make their things, you know, their product, their you know, uh, impression of what they would like to convey with that picture, you know, the better. You know, so um, I, I find it um, that music it keeps changing. You know, for me, it kept changing. I was a session musician, and then I was, you know, I kept being a, a solo artist, per se, and then um, I uh, joined Simply Red. I had played with Milton Nascimento, for those who know, Ivan Lins, Caetano Veloso, and many artists from Brazil and from jazz kind of world as well, Michelle Legrand and other musicians. And then I came to, after I had spent a, spent a long time with Simply Red, 10 years. I moved to Ireland because I love the flow of Irish melodies. So I went there and brought my family with me and we stayed for two years. Coincidentally, when I came back, when I came to America, uh, the first gig that I ever got was to tour your country with the Chieftains and you know, mixing a bit of uh, flamenco style with Gaelic music. And, and from that day, the first day I stepped into this place, um, it has been all about appreciation for the effort that one puts into what one believes. And I find it, that for me, because I believe in songs, I believe in the power of melody. One day I met this composer called Hans Zimmer, and he needed songs for a movie called As Good As It Gets. 
for Brazilian songs. And then, you know, I was introduced by a common friend, good songwriter too, called Phil Wright. And, and from there on, I started this world of like film music. You know, I wrote music for Black Hawk Down a lot, for I Am Sam, for, uh, for uh, so many. But, you know, like Madagascar, you know, uh, the main theme is mine with Hans. Um, uh, yeah, so many things. I think with, with this guy, with Hans, I've done around maybe 30 movies. With Harry Gregson Williams, I wrote music uh, for Domino, for many other m uh, movies that he did with Tony Scott. And I played too, and I wrote additional music. And then that's how I got into writing my own music for a picture. But I never forget the importance of the melody itself, because the melody, it takes you to a place where if you really rest there for a while, you discover that that place or that room has many windows. And in film music, it's the job of opening those windows you know, and seeing the world from that room, from that melody. You know, and that's why I'm here today. I love doing this, and it's been great. The way he just said, uh, uh, there, there was melody in what you were saying. <laughs> so I, I really feel that the words, even the spoken words, it already gives us clues right. to melodies. But I think it's very important, because we haven't touched this point, is the power of the lyrics. And I've co-written songs with a lot of people. And generally, my suggestions for to lyrics, they're abstract, because when I translate my Portuguese ideas to English, they sound weird. <laughs> but, but artistically, it's OK. But I must say, so many times I've received like emails of uh, people um, saying how much that particular song and its m uh, lyrics have helped him, them in a particular time of their lives. So I think the melody is the carrier, hopefully, of what the lyrics uh, you know, are, are conveying.